Hi everyone. Um, so I'm gonna start trying to do more video blogs um, about Duchenne and uh, my work for DMD Pathfinders. Um, so to start with, I just wanted to talk about social isolation because that's something that we're really keen to tackle at DMD Pathfinders. It's one of our strategic priorities. Um, because it's a it's an issue that faces a lot of people. So um, just to kind of give you a bit uh, of insight into how adults with Duchenne are affected by social isolation. So uh, a big part of it is simply inaccessible um, environments. So for example, um, a lack of access to pubs um, in some cases and bars and also particularly lack of access to people's houses so yeah that can be a real problem in terms of trying to make friends in a new area or um, in, a, in a new situation um, if you're for example at work or a college course with uh, people and then they have a, a party around the house and you can't get in then that can be um, a, a, an issue for you, um, particularly if there's things like no accessible toilets or whatever. You know, you, I've often been in a situation where I've worried about going around someone's house for the evening because I know I can't use the toilet. So that can make um, kind of making friends harder because that's often a good environment where you can really build those friendships. Um, also, just generally in terms of um, Duchenne, the condition can cause uh, problems that make it harder to socialise. So, uh, uh, a big one for as you get older is uh, the volume of your the volume of your voice is affected by uh, the the lack of muscles. So, um, and the lack of uh, particularly lung capacity. Lung capacity. Um, so it means if you're in a busy environment like a, a bar or something then it can be really difficult to talk to people um, because you just can't speak loud enough and no one can actually hear you um, it can be quite uh demoralizing if you're you know in an environment and you just keep having to repeat yourself all the time and no one really understands you that can really uh yeah put, put you off try, even trying to socialize Another issue is anxiety. So a lot of us um, suffer from anxiety. Just there's a lot of um, you know things that we need to think about to go out and about. Um, also, some people do have um, issues with just kind of general social anxiety as well. So um, I, I know I certainly have this a little bit um, myself, and other people do. Um, more so is uh, just you know talking to people that you don't know um, can be quite intimidating and just um, you know having the the courage to go in and uh, put yourself in in an environment that's kind of outside of your comfort zone if you're trying to try to make friends. Um, another thing with uh, Duchenne is people are often unable to work, so they don't have access to that. Uh, kind of environment which is often where a lot of people make uh, make real friendships um, so that can be be more of a challenge if people are not working and then uh, finally it's also just about being able to get out get out and about so there's all sorts of things that can uh, make that difficult for adults with Duchenne so uh, for example a lack of social care funding um, can be a real issue if um, basically if someone has no one to support them uh, with care when they're out and about that can make things a lot harder and obviously with the massive cuts to social care funding um, that's a real problem and often the priority is just on keeping people safe and well rather than actually supporting them to get out and about and socialise which is really kind of vital for someone's well-being but is yeah often it's the thing that gets cut uh, in social care um, 
also things like having the right equipment can be a be a problem so if you don't have the right wheelchair and um, you, you struggle with that uh, then sometimes people can be confined to bed or might only be able to spend a few hours in their wheelchair because it really doesn't suit them and meet their postural needs so yeah that means it can become really difficult to socialize um, and finally the access to accessible transport can be a problem so yeah obviously that sounds sounds quite bleak but um it does just uh kind of highlight the complexity of the issue and the problem uh, that that many people have uh what i wanted to talk about a bit about is how i've um, addressed that myself so and and just a few things that i've learned i haven't always uh practice what I preach but uh, I've kind of learned you know what what are the pitfalls and uh, what what really should you kind of focus on so first of all I would just say that you really need to make the most of every opportunity to socialize and I would say don't worry about uh, kind of social expectation and uh, what, what you think you should be doing in terms of like who you socialize with, uh, how many friends you have, or, or how you socialize with it. I mean, it really should just be about what uh, what you get out of it in terms of uh, enjoyment and the, the friendships that you value. So um, don't worry about if you only have a couple of friends, that if that's you know, what, what works well for you, then, you know, value and... Uh, you, and kind of appreciate those friendships really um and for example i I've, I've often well in my much younger days i think i was worried about um wanting to have a balance of friends in terms of disabled and non-disabled people and uh you know i think i i often got too hung up on worrying about going to an event because I didn't want to just be socialising with disabled people um, and kind of closing off my, my options or something but I think um, honestly I, I was too worried about that and I really should have just focused on whether I would have had a good time at these events rather than you know what I think it looks like as uh, uh, as someone uh, in terms of who I who I hang out with. I think I've, I've mellowed out a lot um, about that. I don't worry about those, those kind of issues now. Um, uh, I think also uh, just in terms of like how you socialise, I'd say, you know, I often worried about having PAs as friends because they were in a paid role and it almost felt like, you know, I was paying people to be my friends. But I, again, it's just kind of, I think you really need to not get hung up on those kind of things. So if you've uh, got a PA that you enjoy spending time with, then I think, you know, just spend time with them. Don't worry about, uh, you know, the, the wider implications of what that means. I think just uh, you can get too too stuck on those kind of, kind of issues, really. Um, I think other things that you can do is making sure that you have the right equipment and also fighting for the care that you need so none of this is easy um, but you you can turn to groups such as the MD Pathfinders and we can help you or let you know of other organisations that might be able to help in terms of uh, being able to get what you need um, but I think in terms of actual social opportunities then it's often important that you organise things yourself so uh, accept the fact that there will probably be a lot of inaccessible um, events and things happening in, in places that you can't get into so kind of take charge of that and actually set up your own events where you can if you you know if you're at work and you've got a group of people or a college course then you take the initiative and say I'm going to organise a, an event here in this accessible venue do you want to come and uh, you know take charge in that way i think um in terms of making new friends if you're in a situation where you need to do that think about things like volunteering for an organization uh, so 
you don't have access to a uh, social group through work, then uh, volunteering for an organisation is a good way to kind of substitute for that. I think another thing I would really just say is really value your existing friends, particularly when you just leave uh, university or, or college or another, or another situation where you've got a group of friends, really kind of value them and spend time to actually maintain those friendships because it gets a lot harder to make new friends as you as you get older. Um, I think also in terms of things like social anxiety, it's really important just to to get out as much as you can and to really kind of just practice having interactions with people. Don't get stuck in a rut where you're not really talking to anyone new because that just makes it a lot harder to actually uh, kind of make new connections when, when you want to. Also things like getting out and about, uh, have a look at like public transport in your area and what might be available. Um, it took me a while to kind of really get used to using trains and buses. I was quite uh, anxious about that, but it's certainly possible. And uh, if you have a good bus network where you live, then that can really kind of open up your opportunities for getting out and about. You don't need to have a, a PA that can drive in, the, in that case, which is something I was struggling with at the moment. And then finally, um, also consider opportunities to socialise online. So, um, like through gaming or through the, the, the nights that we run as uh, DMD Pathfinders, we've got a games night and a, and a sports night coming up. Um, and just kind of chat online to people through social media. I think it's really important just to emphasise the need to work at those kind of connections and try and make those meaningful. So, for example, I used to play World of Warcraft and I've actually ended up making friends through that. But that kind of thing, you really need to kind of actually engage with people more than just about the game. You know, start to talk to people about their real lives and uh, you know really try to make connections I don't think um, just talking about a game all the time is necessarily will uh, kind of help you to build those friendships you really do actually have to kind of put a bit of effort in as, as is the case with most things really also join try and join regular game groups rather than just randomly playing games where you randomly connect with anyone around the world because if you don't see them again that there's no opportunity to really build on that connection so i think i've i've rather waffled on a little bit about that but hopefully giving you some good ideas and useful tips about social isolation as i said it's a strategic priority for dmd pathfinders so we're currently working on online events and also building up social groups in different areas so if that's something that you're interested in please uh, check out DMD Pathfinders and follow us on our Facebook page and you can find out more information and help us plan where we're going to run social events.